Where's Joan? Oh, she's out catching groundhogs to replenish her wig supply. You have to catch them in the dead of night. Why'd you keep saying that? It's not nice. It's hard for a woman losing her hair, her femininity. Femin you should be nice. <laughs> it's a joke, Victor. Oh, my God. Stop drinking. It's making you soft. Oh, you should have seen how the most beautiful woman that ever lived treated me back in the day. And I remember thinking then, beauty fades. Just wait. And it did. Well, I remember seeing her in humoresque, shunned by John Garfield, marching into the ocean, every hair in place. Beauty, dignity, and death all in one exquisite pose. She marched into the sea to her death and never got her hair wet. Well. <laughs> meant a lot to me. Turn down service, Miss Davis? I wish I had known for a single day what it feels like to walk into a room and knock them out without a single word. Betty, you don't even know yourself. You've been too long in this business. Oh, you have no idea what it's like to be a woman in this business with the constant scrutiny and competition. Oh, do we have to go through this melodrama right now? Fuck you, Bob. All right, tell me. Then tell me. No, you tell me, Mr. Director Man. Have you ever been rebuffed by a woman because of how you look? I'm betting no. I'm guessing that your success was enough that they fucked you despite your beer gut and your middle age sag. Am I right? <laughs> I don't make up the rules. <laughs> My first screen test with Jack Warner, I stuck around and I hid behind a door because I wanted to hear his reaction. Did he see my talent, my humor, my intelligence, my brave attack on the scene? But he wasn't interested in any of that. Guess what he said? What did he say? He said I had zero sex appeal. He said, who would want to fuck that? I was 22. And nobody ever had. You should go to bed. Guess who he said he wished I'd look like? John Crawford.